Hey, how's it going? This is Henry Fleischer here, responding to your request for a quick video on tips you can use to grow your business online. Right now, I'm on your Facebook page, Holistic Tree Care. I like how in your profile picture you show off your logo and, it looks, and you got your brand right there. It's a nice cover photo. You have two of the mountain. It keeps scrolling down here, too. So it's good you got a good review right there. It's good you're posting pictures and videos showing off all the work that you're doing so people know it. You really are really good at your job and then going up here in the about section and one thing I'm not seeing it's not seeing a phone number it's good how people can message your page and also there's I don't see a website I want to show you how you can use a website to your advantage so here's what happens when you search for a tree service in Kent Washington I'm assuming that's an area you serve so these top three guys right here those are sponsored listings so they're paying to be on page one so they're renting that space same with these guys too. These guys are renting space as well. Then we got down to the map portion. So the top three people here got the most traffic. So we got Bushman, Kent Tree Service, and Tree Removal. Looks like they got two listings in the top three. And then we got Pacific Tree Services. Yeah, those top three though, they get the most traffic. And once we get past the that, we got into the organic section. Looks like Pacific Tree Services has the number one spot too. They got a spot in maps and organic. We're going to take a look into them in a little bit. Keep going down here let's see then there are more ads so i'm going to show you some stats on google search all right so with google search traffic page one gets 91 and a half percent of that traffic as you see here everything outside of page one is far significantly less than the first page so if you're not on page one it'll be much harder for people to find you on google in addition to 47 percent of the time people conduct a google search it is for a local business service even if you do get a spot on page one, the position is still crucial. Not all traffic is created equal on page one. As you see, the top three spots get the most traffic. So the first spot is 32.5%. The second spot gets 17.6%. And then the third spot gets 11.4%. And that tenth spot only gets 2.4%. So if you get a top three organic listing to go along with a top three map listing, you're going to have a lot of traffic coming your way. And the more website visitors you get, will lead to more phone calls. And in turn, those phone calls will turn into new customers. And with the extra revenue from those new customers, you can use that to grow your business even further. So let's take a look now at PacificTreeServices.com. You see how like simple their website is? It's got a homepage about us, services, you can see like tree removal, tree trimming, stump grinding. You've got testimonials, a gallery, you got some pictures, and they have some content on here as well, like testimonials. Looks like they got, yep, yeah, and then they mentioned a lot of the locations they serve too. So anytime you have a website, you always have to think to yourself what's the first action you want the user to take. It's always best to have a clickable phone number at the top. Instead, make it at the top left. The user's eyes always start on the top left hand side of the page. And when they see it's clickable, they can call you on a mobile device. And then when the user makes their way to the right of the page, you want to have a contact form. And right above that contact form, you want it to say something like get a free quote, get a free estimate. And I'll give them more incentives without the contact form and reach you via email. So another thing too, like whenever Google's ranking a web local business website, they look for authoritative content on the homepage. So you want to have between 1,000 to 1,500 words all about the services you provide. It looks like this site too has they're well within that range. It's always key, always key to have like all the descriptions on what you're doing, what you're doing, and stuff so like that, stuff like that. And another thing too, when you go to the services, we'll check out each service page. You want to have between 500 to 750 words. You can even go past 750 awards, the more the better. It's not, there's no such thing as too much. See, like there's a lot of, see, they definitely are in within that 500 word range right there. So that's another thing to keep in mind. And Google favors those websites with more pages as well, too. If you think of it, like, so you, some ways you can add more pages, too. Like, you can, not just like the home about us services and testimonials, you can make um, pages for each location you serve. So, Maybe Auburn, Fe Federal Way, Cascade, Fairwood, Normandy Park. Let's see Dash Point. Maybe you want to go to Tacoma, Algona, Milton, Lake Morton, Berrydale. And then you can even make blog articles too, giving your thoughts and opinions on everything tree service. Google likes to see websites with a lot of valuable information on the subject matter. Think about this. Whenever you are on, go to a Google search, you type in a celebrity's name. One of the first pages that pops up in their search result is Wikipedia, their Wikipedia page. So Wikipedia is at the top because they have so much information on that celebrity. 
like from their career, personal life, and all all the little details. And while having lots of great authoritative content is very necessary, just one piece of the puzzle. You also need a thing called backlinks to rank. A backlink is when you put your website link onto another website. And all backlinks are created equal. Some are more powerful than others. So ranking out new websites on the top of Google, similar to being a new kid at a new school trying to get popular. Yeah, you can have great looks, great content or personality, but that alone is not enough to get to the top. You still have to win the votes and confidence of all your peers and the popular kids, and that takes time. So let's just say, for example, you put your website link onto like um, arboristresources.com. Let's say their top site in, on tree service. And they gave you a follow Google would see that and be like, oh, arboristresources.com likes the new kid. We're going to move them up the rankings. Then you want to find more and more of those popular sites to link up to. But if you put your website link onto a new website called um, johnstreeservice.com, Google would see it and be like, oh, uh, um, a new kid vouched you for another new kid? His opinion doesn't mean anything. Or keep on my toy is. Here's a tool I like to use called Ahrefs. Here's an overview of Pacific Tree Services. See in their headline, they mentioned like Tree Service Kent Washington, Tree Removal Kent, Tree Trimming Kent. You definitely want to have those types of keywords. So like Tree Service, Tree Removal, Tree Trimming, those are what people search for. And then you can make your locations as well too, like whether it's Kent or somewhere else. And they appear on 150 organic keyword searches, and then they have 27 backlinks. One trick you can do, you can see who your competitors are linking to, or try to link to the same sites. So let's take a look at their keywords. Like Tree Removal Kent would be a good one, because it's searched 60 times a month. Even if you were to, for Pacific Tree Service, you can run a Google ad for that keyword to try to take some of that traffic from them. And we've got Washington Tree Services, like Kent's Tree Service, Tree Service Kent. Let's see, yeah, Washington Tree Service could be a good one. That would that's ranked, that's searched 400 times a month. And ways to get up higher in the keyword rankings, so I mentioned if you keep adding authoritative content as well as finding valuable backlinks, that will definitely help you. Gonna, let's take a look at some of their backlinks. There's like Better Business Bureau and Yellow Pages would definitely be good places to get backlinks from. Definitely local Yahoo, three best rated, expertise.com, porch, tree trimming services, the regional directory, that's another place you can get backlinks from. Forestry services, it seems like that's what having their website ranked really high so all these pages are definitely doable to link up to site links.info let's see d7 lead finder too and another thing too you should definitely get a backlink from your local chamber of commerce get a website link from there that'll definitely help you as well too and to rank in the map portion of google you need a thing called citations citations is the number of times that your business name phone number and address listed across the web and you could actually put a citation on your Facebook page. You want to have between 50 to 100 plus more citations than your competition. But sometimes having way more citations than your competition won't be enough to leapfrog you in the rankings. But what will help is if you build up your website with lots of authoritative content, as well as linking up to a lot of valuable websites, getting those valuable backlinks. So if you have that high-powered website to go along with all those citations, then you'll be ranking way ahead in the map portion of Google. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and I look forward to hearing from you. Thank you.